Hello, my name is Mariana and today this is a reading for Pisces. So Pisces, I'm doing your reading with my own deck of cards. So the cards that you'll see are from this deck. And your reading today, Pisces, I'm very happy because it's going beyond this realm. It's going to the other side of the veil. Although I have to say it's almost like because this is just the first part, right? It's like I can see only to the limits of human perception. It's almost like there is this sense of some sort of very special arrival in the form of inspiration particularly, or like a very specific insight that wants to cross this uh, gap or to bridge over this, you know, the subtle realm of spirit and this physical realm of you know the 3d so you pisces are the one who maybe are receiving now the message or the intuitive nudge to stay where you are because the card here that is opening your reading the five of pentacles well maybe you know this by now that this five of pentacles to me you know, usually symbolizes a place, a location, or some sort of um, destiny, like a mark that you aim to uh, reach. But actually, this Five of Pentacles was talking about staying where you are. Actually, I heard it as like a very, like a, a very authority, authority, authoritative voice, like very. Um, like a not rigid or like um, demanding kind of voice. It's almost like a very, what is the word? Like a very sharp voice, but yeah, it's almost like, like don't move, stop where you are Pisces. Stay where you are because you are in the right place. But there is a little bit of angst here in your part it's almost like you know that there is something going on right there is a little bit of restlessness but there's also this notion in you because you are so intuitive naturally is that it's like there is something here where you are there is something about the place there is something about these walls there is something about this environment that is talking to you it's almost like the walls of the room are talking to you and saying like stay where you are especially because when this card came through the eight of wands it was talking about like something that was supposed to get to you faster or earlier like this thing has had like a really tough time to get to you it's almost like you know, the speed that usually we feel with the Eight of Wands in, tra in traditional tarot is here, but it's almost like there has been a delay because, you know, to me, this is, it's almost like this image is like a very dense forest. Um, so instead of being like a, a quick place, like a, a, a plain field, right? It's like there are a few obstacles that are making the speed in which this thing that was making its way to you to be delayed, right? And I feel like somehow this obstacle, because it's the ones, and usually to me the ones, you know, these symbols here are, you know, they look like trees. That's the reason why I'm talking about like forest. It's like there is some sense like this image that I'm seeing with these two cards is like, you know that if you stay within these walls, it's like, and you stare out of the window and you look and you see a forest, you know, if it's a forest of trees or a forest of buildings, you know, there's a lot, but it's almost like you can only see the trees or, or the buildings. You cannot see what is, you know, trying to make its way to you, right? Through all of this chaos and confusion and density. So, because it's just an energetic kind of thing still, right? And so it's almost like there is, well, your sensitivity, it's like capturing, like it's it just capturing the um, shift in the air, but not the shift in the physical yet, 
right? So it's almost like you want to move, but you know that there's also something going on where you are. So the longer you stay, even though, you know, nothing is apparently happening, it's almost like you thought things would be moving by now, right? But they aren't. And why? Because of this, right? We have a Wheel of Fortune, with, which is, you know, mimicking this same, it's almost like the same symbol of like the energetic imprint is where you are. So it's almost like, you know, if we think of, you know, destiny as being a blueprint, a blueprint that we're given, you know, because I study astrology too, uh, we can often think of the astrological birth chart as this blueprint, right? The blueprint that comes from the stars and the planets and the cosmos. And so this um, Wheel of Fortune, yes, it's like this, um, it's almost like this higher version or this original blueprint. And this Five of Pentacles, it's like the physical imprint or like how it manifested, like how this plan manifested in reality. So although there has been maybe a long waiting in your part, Pisces, right? It's almost like you thought things would be moving faster by now and they're not because the obstacle is like greater the energetic obstacle is greater and it's greater because of the density right and there's something about here not only this will fortune being the like the it's almost like the original blueprint really right it's like where this manifestation came from or where this was created in the first place it's almost like the origins of time really because what i heard with the uh blueprint now that it's you know how this wheel of fortune is coming through pisces is a portal of time so it's like if this portal of time like if it only opens up from time to time, right? It's not something that is constantly open, right? It's almost like there is no way for something to be manifested unless there is an opening, right? So maybe this is the reason why something that you felt would happen earlier just didn't, like didn't arrive or didn't happen or like there is the sense of um, not matching your time frame, your physical perception of time and this bigger original time what is time right the cosmic concept of time so this portal of time is like so with the four of swords here next uh i'm just you know it's almost like i am you know gapping uh trying to bridge this gap here because this is actually the message from the four of swords so it's like here with these two swords and then these two swords, it's almost like this is one side of the veil and this is another side of the veil because the image that I was seeing, it's like two margins of a river, right? So the river is an obstacle in a sense, but it's also the point of junction. If you see what I mean, it's like, unless there is a bridge, like the two margins would always be two margins and the river would always be the river i don't know if i'm making sense at all i know sometimes things can be simple and obvious but they are tricky if we think of it like really really deeply so what this is talking about is like it's almost like the portal of time is indicating where the bridge will be where you are right and it's not a physical bridge right? It's almost like, oops. So the perfect point, yes, it is physical, but the opening of it, right? Because swords to me, sometimes it's like coming from that subtle realm, right? The spirit realm. So the margins are already located, right? They are already like, um, like, uh, signaled right this is almost like the the posts that are like signing like um you know signaling to spirit like this is the point of contact this is the point where the two margins will be bridged where they will meet 
where they'll there will be like this um spiritual connection right because right now there's only like a river in the center the obstacle is still there right and whatever this is that is trying to make its way to you it's like it's on the other side of the margin meaning it's on the other side of the veil right it's still like an energetic potential like uh, a spiritual force of some sort which is on the other side of this portal of time if it makes sense but here this is where it gets really interesting remember when we had the eight of uh, ones as the obstacle you know delaying or just um stopping whatever it is that is coming to you to arrive at the place that you are right but here when we like it's almost like when this uh signaling is complete when like spiritually the location for this crossing over is determined because it's time the portal of time is about to open it's like it's almost like you are in the right place like designed by that blueprint right in the physical realm and the energetics are being placed into position right and it's not something that is quick it's almost like something that is so subtle like a breeze right but you since you are very um intuitive it's like even though there is this maybe even a desire to move on it's like there is something holding you and it's not i don't want to say that it's comfortable or not it's almost like there is this angst for like for not seeing anything different happening right because you feel that something is happen happening but you don't necessarily see anything different because it's still in that spirit domain right but here we have the nine of wands and the queen of wands so here it is it's like if the obstacle right was the river that was separating the two margins or separating the two sides of the veil once this portal is open because it's like everything is in its place right not only in the physical because you are you know the manifested reality of this expression but there's also this you know this very subtle connection that needs to be made right to connect the two margins here comes inspiration actually is really how this queen of wands uh, wants to be introduced because you know when this card came through the nine of wands i could see that there was like you know parting seas or like you know um something which i couldn't really exactly pinpoint what it was until this card came through but when it was only the nine of wands it's like it felt like something that was from the realm of this forest right whether it is from the realm of the trees from the realm of nature from the realm of you know souls that live in buildings uh you know because of the fire it's almost like the spark of life is you know making something that perhaps is uh, perceived as inanimate you know like buildings have life so even though there could have been like this perception in your part pisces that something got lost in the way right or en route for you like to meet you and the environment was just exactly the same as you saw last week right but something about the timing of this subtle realm makes this one thing that that's the interesting thing it's almost like if you looked out and stared at the window right and whatever you saw right right in front of you even though you know it looked the same right it looked untouched or you know just exactly how you um stared at the window you know two weeks before and it's the same it's because this thing was mixed among 
this forest and you didn't know because it's like these things weren't set in place until now right so here with the queen of wands it's so interesting because you know usually to me the core cards they can represent people but this one actually came through as inspiration the way that she you know introduced herself to me was i'm inspiration so I don't feel like this one, you know, if she is like, you know, one of your neighbors, for instance, that suddenly comes with an incredible idea, right? Or some source uh, uh, or some sort of um, support for you, right? Or some sort of like incredible knowledge that you pick up, like as if that was, as if it was like the perfect thing that you were looking for, even though you didn't know you were looking for anything like that. So that could be a case, but really I'm not sensing this Queen of Wands as an embodied person. I'm sensing it as coming from this other side of the veil, right? As spirit, as an angel, as some sort of, um, you know, whatever type of guide you consider that you have, you know, as uh support on the other side really so whoever you connect on the other side is like here they come and they were the ones who were coming for you all along it's just that they were it's almost like they were hiding on the bushes or you know they were so close to you that you couldn't really distinguish because it was like part of the reality or part of the environment and so when this isn't in place it's really hard to distinguish you know their presence from the whole if it makes sense so it's only when all of this like is visible it's almost like you only see the river when there's a bridge it's almost like that so for some reason it's like this portal of time has to open up indicating where the bridge will be built in order for you to see what was already there but not physically energetically does it make sense so here because we're ending with finally the six of pentacles this is really good news for you pisces this is a reason actually why i'm so excited because remember when i was talking about like you being a little bit um not yeah okay maybe a little bit restless here in this five of pentacles because it's like you know that there is reason for you to stay here even though this is not your ultimate goal it's almost like this is just part of the journey this is not your destination right or your final destination it's just one stop along the way and so staying here maybe for longer than you imagined right because it's almost like you were hoping that it would arrive by your doorstep like sooner and it didn't um it's like when this inspiration comes and it's like that it's like maybe you even sense like you have received the next puzzle the next piece of the puzzle right it's like there is movement it's almost like if the road was blocked right or you couldn't leave your room for whatever reason right um or you didn't feel like it was the right moment to leave it's like when this one approaches like when she shows up from you know the center of the forest or when she it's almost like when she becomes visible to you pisces right because she's coming it's it's like she's there she's right in front of She's right in front of you, like right outside of your window. Like if you, if you really like sensed that there was something coming is because that is because she was already there, right? It's just that you couldn't really connect with her because there was this gap, right? That had to be connected from both sides and you staying there was one part of this equation. You know, it's like they can only be seen in a sense, um, when this bridge is, is made right it's almost like this is the bridge this is but it starts 
in the spirit realm and then it becomes something that is visible right so inspiration is coming pisces and it's coming to set you free it's what i just heard it's almost like it's allowing you to move from this place that maybe you have stayed for longer than you expected or that you desire or that you wanted so the movement is coming and it's coming through as like the exact next piece of the puzzle that you need because you are building this bridge it's almost like that's the thing okay thank you so much i love when things like become so clear visually to me so this place that you are it's like one of the margins of the river right you can no longer like you can not go further or even like go backwards right because you know that there is something there for you but there is a certain limit like a boundary that you cannot cross this river unless there is a bridge so it has to be like something that is also meeting you from the other side and this is the job of the queen of wands it's like it's almost like they are coming with a perfect inspiration for you to build the bridge because it's the six of pentacles so it's like you you need to bridge this gap right you were the one who were going to bridge something that is in the physical but with inspiration that is coming you know presenting it itself from the other side of the margin you know showing like the way to do things or the spark of creativity that is going to allow you to create this and you know manifest this in this 3d reality in a sense so pisces that was a lot more than I was, I was expecting, even though I knew this reading was already like very out there, which I love by the way. Um, so uh, I'm going to pull more cards for you Pisces. And also, as you all know, I'm going to pull from the astrological runes in the extended um, as a final guidance for you. So if you wanna join me there, I'll be happy to see you. If not, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.